Hey, Tony here, Ram Ventures 2.0. What are we doing? Well, I'm going to take a look at the uh, Vitomin solar panels. All right, so I've already done a video on this right here. So I have the uh, 1500 um, watt power bank. That's this right here. So uh, I, at the time that I got this and did the review, and you can see that review, I'll put a link uh, right here, but look for this uh, thumbnail right here. Uh, that's on the Vitomin. Now at the time I did not have these solar panels. Uh, so I've just recently got them and um, it's late in the day. <laughs> it's really late in the day. You can see the sun going down there. Uh, but I wanted to charge this up a little bit and just show you how it plugs into here because I didn't have them at the time that we got the power bank, but now I got it. So let's take a look at that. All right, as a lot of you guys know, I, I do car camping and everything else, but uh, like I said, when I got in this, I did not have the panels, so they came later. I did the review on this, uh, but now I'm gonna just do a quick review on the solar panels. Uh, so you can see I carry them in the car with me. We got just a very little bit of sunlight. Uh, right now it's the, the beginning of December or end of November, beginning of December. So the solar irradiation uh, for our area is very low. But with 220 watts of solar panels, I can grab a little bit before it goes down over. Um, so we do have a fairly uh, clear sky today, but right now we're at 60% uh, on our battery. Now that'll last me for days. I've got the refrigerator right here. I've got the bed. There's other things that I run off of this and you can see uh, videos of me uh, cooking uh, with this uh, dinner and breakfast. Uh, there's a cornfield that I cooked the breakfast in. Uh, there's uh, one car camp that I cooked uh, grilled cheese and everything else. So there are videos that you can see me operating with this. This is the first time I'm going to be setting this up. So you've got two connectors right here for the solar panels. Uh, right in this handy pouch is going to be our connection, our positive and our negative, and they can only go together in one way. Uh, so we're going to hook that up. But first, we're going to string these out. One of the nice things about this is you know the length of cord that you get you're not going to be um, stringing it too far we're already getting shade where i'm at and i can't drive into the grass so we're going to see what we can do with it um, i just want to give you an idea how to hook it up uh, because your area is going to be different depending on where you at of how much solar you can actually get you know lower states like arizona and stuff like that even in winter they're going to do way better than i do up here in pennsylvania uh but hey <laughs> let's go to arizona <laughs> right okay uh but i'm gonna string this out get it hooked up and now this uh end right here uh this is the end that's gonna hook to our power bank so we're gonna show you that let me get this strung out so there is this positive and negative right here and i could have actually left it in the car i didn't see that uh, but so we have our positive and negative right here connections and there is cordage that i did not realize was there and that would have definitely reached to the car uh, but where we got uh, the negative now these two items here are for different apparatuses that you want to hook up uh, but we've got our positive and our negative right here and we're just gonna put those two together so they can only go together one way uh, so you've got a male and a female you're just gonna snap them together like that so there we go and then you're gonna take this end which is the black and yellow and you're just gonna lift this up and right here is your black and yellow and they can only go in one way as well so I'm go ahead and push that in now it's going to be hard to see but we are at 59 percent and we'll give this a push on there we go now we're charging so you want to push the dc button to get it going and i've still got 
AC blinking there. So right now we're pulling 80 watts. I don't know if you can see that or not. But this is a 220 watt panel, uh, but we are pulling 80 watts. It is blinking or flashing light, and that tells you it's uh, incoming. Uh, so you've got power coming in, and we've got 80 watts just dropped down to 76 because our sun is getting lower. <laughs> yeah, it certainly is. Yeah, let me get you over here so you can see what it looks like. Yeah, you can see me in the reflection, but you see it's blinking right here, 59, and then we're down to six, we're intaking 69 watts. Now, like I said, we're in Pennsylvania, it's late in the day, the sun is setting, uh, but it is uh, pulling in some power. It's pulling in uh, 69 watts. Uh, we've got a maximum capacity of 220 watts. So that's a good thing. Just we're not gonna get that today. <laughs> no, we're not. All right, so I'm gonna let this run for a little bit and uh, we'll see what it does. Yeah, so we're, we're down to 29. It's, it's uh, been running for just a couple of minutes. Um, like I said, we're, we're dropping very fast as far as uh, solar ability to uh, take in solar. But I used to sell solar commercially and residentially for many, many years. And just based off of what I've seen so far, this is a great product. A lot of capacity, very uh, portable. You can see I took the uh, VTOMAN uh, power bank right out of the car, set it in the grass, uh, and then plugged it up pretty quick. So yeah, we're down to just 21 watts, and that's because it's so low. Uh, but we are up to uh, 60. So we went from 59 to 60 uh, percent on the VTOMAN, and I can just throw this back in the car, fold this up, unplug everything, stick it back in, and, and hey, there's gonna be sunny days <laughs> later on, but it was supposed to uh, rain uh, and cloudy and rainy and cloudy for the next week. I wanted to get this out to you just in case you were looking for one. Um, hey, I, they may even have some uh, deals going on right now, I'm not sure. Uh, but hey, just from what I saw, it's got the 2.0 approval. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and wait for this sun to go down and then I'll just uh, put her all back in the car. Yeah, <laughs> we're down to 17, 14 watts. Yeah, it's I'm I'm standing in shade. This is all shade right now. The sun is way back here. So shade definitely affects your uh, ability to draw in solar. You can see how long my shadow is there, uh, but I'd have to get way out here to be in the full sun. Yeah, I could have probably set up way over there and gotten longer, but I came up against this mountain here. Uh, but oh well, <laughs> that's the way it is. Yeah, you can see we're blinking there. <laughs> so it's taking in power, but we're only at 10 watts right now. So really, um, it's working. And that's all I need to know that it is definitely working. Stay tuned. You'll see me pulling this out on quite a few camps uh, in the future. Great product. Yeah, it is. But way out there's the uh, sun. Uh, we're in the shadows right here. So not good for generating solar. But hey, at least we pulled in something. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just fold this up and uh, put her away. And it is really easy to fold up and get stored away. Yeah. So we should be pulling zero powers right now because none <laughs> of our panels are showing. Uh, so there you have it. I've just got to disconnect, get it thrown back in the car, and then we are off to the races. All right, getting everything plugged back in. So I, I have to say, ever since I got the, the power bank, this thing charges to 100% capacity in one hour. Amazing, 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 amazing. So I keep the solar panels right here so I can deploy them quickly. <laughs> it's just I didn't deploy them quickly enough because we hit the, all the shadows. Uh, so we did run it for uh, t uh, 10 minutes, if that. Uh, and I did get a 1% uh, increase in the battery capacity. So I'm up 
back up to 60%. It was down to 53 because my refrigerator was running while I was getting the camera set up and everything. Uh, uh, but yeah, yeah, pretty cool. Yep, <clears throat> like I said, I am 100% satisfied with uh, the power bank and also the solar panels. It's a great option, um, whether you're car camping or uh, you can use that power bank for lots of stuff. Uh, the solar panels, like I said, if it wasn't the end of uh, November and uh, I didn't get out of here while the sun was going down and set up in the shade, uh, we would have pulled in a lot more power. Uh, but it's great for a backup, even for if you got power outages and stuff. As long as the sun's shining, you can get, make power. All right, I'll catch you on the next random adventure. All right, see ya. Tony. 2.0 out. All right.